What's good, man? It's your boy Plan James checking in. I have a ministry called Trap Theology, and today I want to talk to those people who feel lost. Folks looking for answers, they're kind of confused. You've been walking with God for a while, but there's still areas of your life you're still confused trying to get direction. We're going to go to the book of Acts chapter 8. This is the story of the Ethiopian eunuch. So what was a eunuch? A eunuch was a person who was so devoted to God that they castrated themselves. That means they cut off their lower region so they wouldn't be tempted by sin and lust and all this kind of stuff. That's a different level of commitment. You know what I'm saying? So this is what the eunuch did to himself. So the scriptures say in chapter 8 that he was in Jerusalem worshiping, but he had to head to Gaza. In between Jerusalem and Gaza, it was a desert there. So in the Hebrew, the word Jerusalem means peace or shalom. Gaza in the Hebrew means strength. So as he's walking through this desert, he's in a place between peace and strength, but he's in a desert place. How many folks out there have been in a desert place before trying to find some answers? It says he was looking at the scriptures in the book of Isaiah, and he was trying to figure out who are these scriptures talking about? Who are they speaking of? God had the apostle Philip pull up on the eunuch. So he saw the eunuch reading, Philip was on assignment already. He saw the eunuch reading the scriptures, and he asked the eunuch, do you understand what you're reading? And the eunuch said, nah, could you help me understand? So Philip went on to give the eunuch the gospel. He said, these scriptures in Isaiah are talking about the Christ who's to come. But guess what? He already came. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He's already ascended to heaven. So he gave the eunuch the gospel in that desert place, the place between no peace and no strength. God sent somebody to meet him right there. So right now, if you're in that low place, that desert place, that place where you look around, you're like, man, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. You're thirsty, but you're thirsting after the wrong thing. You're not thirsting after the living water. When you're in the desert for real and you don't have no direction, the first thing that look cold, the first thing that look wet to drink, you're going to drink it. It could be antifreeze. It could be anything. You don't know what you're doing. But if you wait on the Lord, he will send the help that you need. So for the eunuch who was looking for answers, I mean, a devoted man who castrated himself, still looking for answers, he sent Philip to talk to him. Philip gave him the gospel. And eventually the eunuch said, okay, what do I need to do next? Philip said, be baptized. The eunuch said, what's stopping them from doing that right now? They walk on, they find a body of water, boom, right on the spot, Philip baptized him, and he became a believer of the gospel. So once again, I know you're in that desert. I know it's dry. I know it's hot. I know you're thirsty. You don't even know what you're thirsting for. You feel abandoned. You feel lonely. You feel rejected. You look around, you don't see any help. You're crying. You got anxiety. You got all these different things going on. And you're like, Lord, do you see me? Lord, do you hear me? You're in that desert. I promise you. Stay committed to the Lord. Keep seeking his face. And he will send you the help that you need. God bless you. Trap Theology.